Hey guys, Daniel Bates with The Real Estate Tomato and today I want to show you how you can easily add widgets to your website. This widget is courtesy of Michael Solovey at What's the Point of Aventura.com. I just noticed it a couple of months ago and I think it's a really sharp looking widget. And so I wanted to show you how you can get similar widgets on your website. This is the one I'm talking about. It's a YouTube widget and it just shows off his listings that he uploads onto YouTube. But what's neat about it is it plays right here in the sidebar. I click play here and it'll start rolling. Um, but it also displays all his other ones just in a real crisp, clean, precise manner. And so um, where he got this is a site called widgetbox.com. If you're not familiar with widgetbox.com, you should really go check it out. Um, they've got a ton of different um, designs and, and widgets that have already been created. Um, you know, you can type in your local sports team and, uh, and find a widget that will bring you news about your sports team. Just tons of different little ideas. Um, some you know some appropriate for uh, real estate websites and some not obviously but um, I just typed in YouTube here and uh, and it gave me a couple options the one that I chose here is YouTube sidebar widget and so this is what how it displays widgets on widgetbox.com it actually shows you what it's gonna look like and then most of them have a pretty bulky um, customization option here and so I've already plugged in my YouTube username and that's pretty much all you have to do here. You can choose, it. you've got a couple more options. Really important option will be your width. And so you might have to play around with that in order to get um, the appropriate width on your website um, to, mat to fall in line with your sidebar. But once you've done that, you want to click this more button. And we're looking for WordPress, this big W here. And in a couple of seconds, it loads up the code that you need. All you got to do is click this copy button. And you've copied that code to your uh, um, clipboard. Then we're going to go to the back end of your site. We're going to go pick up a text widget and drag it right here. Once you've done that, it'll open right up. You want to make sure it's empty, that it's not another text widget you were using. And all you do is right click, hit paste. Um, if you want to type in like Michael did, he typed in my videos. You could type in my listings, whatever you want to type in. And I'll show you a little trick here. This whole section right here is actually extra code. And I'm not telling you that you that you should delete it, but you can delete it if you want to make your site look a little bit better. I mean, Widgetbox does a great job bringing us this stuff free of charge. And so if you want to advertise for them, then you should and, and you can. But uh, if you don't want that got, got widgets, some of them allow you to erase it. And so try it out if it messes up the site then you might not you know then you're not going to be able to delete it but in this case you know I can just delete this whole no script section right here click save and it'll be functional on my website some of them not you can't you're not so lucky but that's how you add a widget specifically the YouTube uh, sidebar widget onto your sidebar in uh, in WordPress, so no need for a plugin um, or or any extra coding. You're just using um, you're basically just snipping a piece of code and pasting it into uh, a blank text widget. That's all for me for now. Have a great day, and as always, contact Molly at realestatetomato.com with any questions. Thanks. Bye.